If you're a blink, I bet you've been lurking around waiting to finally get your black pink bong out of the box and use it once and for all. However, it seems like it will take a while before the girls will make a comeback since things aren't really going in their favor at the very moment. Not to mention how Blackpink is very well known for taking long hiatus. And the fact that YG Entertainment is not beating the mistreatment allegations isn't helping Blackpink's case. I know that the girls shared how they are actually prepping for a comeback during their V-Live earlier this year. But that's it. This is the reason why blinks are constantly on the edge, but recently, fans weren't able to hold it any longer and decided to call out YG for doing a very poor job with handling such a talented group. Do you want to know what blinks have to say? Well, keep watching because I will reveal everything right now. Okay, let's get started. After making their debut way back in 2016, the four girls of Blackpink surely live up to the expectation of being the first YG girl group after 21 made their debut in 2009. I know fans remember the huge amount of pressure the girls had to carry, but things kicked off pretty well for them since their double title debut song was a massive hit. With Boombaya and Whistle, the girls started a revolution and soon enough everyone not only in Korea but around the world is jamming and singing Blackpink in your area. I bet you did too. <laughs> Things got better when Blackpink made another mega release in November of the same year by making a comeback with another double title, playing with Fire and Stay, that was added to their monster debut year. By this time, everyone was already calling the girls the next big thing, but little did they know, this is because the fireworks didn't last very long. After all, after a powerful and successful debut, YG decided to put the girls on a very, very long hiatus. For new YG fans, it's definitely an unexpected move, but allow me to tell you briefly about how YG sucks when it comes to handling their group. I mean, Winner, Icon, and Treasure made a statement when they made their respective debut right, but before they finished promoting their debut song, they were back to the dungeon and was never seen again. Well, I'm just exaggerating, but it took almost one to two years before they made a comeback, which doesn't make sense. That is exactly what happened with Blackpink. After making it big with their two releases during their debut year, there was nothing. And when I say nothing, I mean it. The fans even made it a joke about it by calling it the five song era. Since unlike other groups that debuted that year, the girls only have a handful of songs. While other groups who debuted the same year as them kept releasing one song after the other, Blinks had to keep repeating the same five songs, one of which is an acoustic version of Whistle. Almost seven years after their debut was able to update the five song era and pointed out that the girls now have accumulated 23 songs. Yep, only 23 songs, seven years after. And Blinks are both baffled and angry at the same time. Well, at least fans can finally make a proper playlist, right? Kidding aside though, seriously YG, what are you even doing up there? In case you want to know how serious this is, let me compare the number of songs with Momoland, another girl group that also made their debut the same year. If you check Momoland's discography, you'll see how they have more than 80 songs since their debut. See, Blackpink didn't even have half of the song the other group had. In the Korean community pen, a fan wrote saying, quote, they are a group that debuted way back in 2016, but only has 23 songs in their catalog, including the title tracks. It's really fascinating how the group stays afloat. I wish the agency can please do some work. Don't worry, everyone is begging for YG to get to work. I mean, what is the use of their massive building if they can't even give the group a proper comeback? It's actually sad to hear even the girls are so worried after they finally released Do 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 after a year of no show. Hit you with that do -do 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 -do. The group candidly shared how scared they were when they made their long awaited comeback. Jenny said, quote, we were most worried about the song charting because that's how you know how many people are listening to the song. We wondered if people still remembered Blackpink. Knets were also very intrigued why on earth YG would sleep on such talented idols. In a forum, a netizen shared how their last full group album, 
Lovesick Girls was released one month after Espa debuted. That was October 2020, guys. Basically almost two years now, and it's just crazy. Also, if you have the chance, check out how most Blackpink releases have either a year or two intervals each, and it's not the pattern we want. The fact that the girls are also focusing on their schedules is not helping. Yes, it's good to see them thrive and establish a career on their own, but why do you should remember that the four girls belong to a group, and maybe it's time to get that group a proper promotion. Things got pretty worse that there had been rumors that Blackpink is disbanding. And before you flip the table, I think we can rule the over since the girls had been sharing pictures after getting reunited in Korea. Oh, wait. Even their solos had been postponed numerous times before it was finally released. Remember how YG kept saying that Roche's solo will be released soon or released within the year when it actually didn't? Fans had to wait for two years before On the Ground finally dropped, and while the song is beautiful, the wait was not pretty at all. Also, Jisoo's solo debut never came. Getting cast in a drama is good, but let's be honest, it's not as good as getting a solo album from her, right? It's just, it's different since we want to see her gain confidence as an idol as well. When was the last time we had a proper Blackpink schedule anyway? It even got to the point where people are joking that the girls have it worse as compared to male idols who needed to enlist. However, a lot of netizens are also convinced that it's a production process that keeps the girls from coming back. If you're an avid YG stan, you'll know that most artists in the company write and produce their songs, but it's not the case when it comes to BP. Yes, they have what it takes to produce their album, but YG had assigned Teddy to do the work for them. This is the reason why most Blackpink songs have a very Teddy-ish sound to them. And while it's a sure hit every single time, the amount of waiting fans have to endure before they are satisfied with the song is unbearable. It's insane! Another allegation netizens came up with is the possible new girl group in the making. There are actually just a few pictures going around the internet of these new girls walking out of YG's building, but nothing is confirmed yet if the delay is because of this. I think YG needs to get a planner first, or else this new GG will only end up down in the dungeon as well. Well, I think we need to wait a little more since there had not been any news whatsoever about Blackpink's planned comeback. Long are the days when they shared that first OT4 Selka at the beginning of the year. It's only been one month since then, but I bet Blinks feel it's been forever. That is why they have all the right to be angry. Like, imagine if your faves are put on hold without reason whatsoever. You'd be as livid as well, right? I hope you keep holding on to Blinks since after waiting for a long time, I'm sure the next comeback will be worth it. Fighting! If you're like me and can't wait for the next BP comeback, watch this video first so you won't miss the girls too much. See you next time.